Yep, I already know it. You're back again and you're thinking, Jay, 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 how many jump shots are you going to drop this week, guy? Are you going to drop some other stuff like some of that Raging with Randoms content and all that other stuff? We don't want you just to fade away and become a YouTube jump shot creator. Listen, man, I'm doing the jump shot stuff for y'all. And let me tell you why. Because every time, if we can average 8K views per video, and these jump shot videos are hitting right now, and they driving the average up. We can average 8K views per video. We're gonna be giving away a next gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or we might give, or we, or we gonna give away $500 or a laptop, whatever you choose. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Every single week, we give away $50 in VC, cash app, or a video game of your choice, man. All you gotta do to get involved in that like the video and comment whatever the word of the day is you don't even have to use the word of the day you just got to comment something but if you don't have nothing to comment i even try to make it easy for y'all and give y'all a word of the day which today is chatty uh c-e-d-i that's all you got to do and like the video and when we um and you know we do the drawing it'll be on a uh, random video so hey that'll be that look man and uh without further ado man hey look i want y'all to know that this is a jump shot that i put together today uh Red is it's Gambit's favorite player. I know some of the other jump shots I put together. Uh, the reason I do so many, and I'm, I'm, the reason I do so many jump shots, is because people like different timings. They like different, um, they like different timings. Some people like the heights on the jump shot. Some people don't like like guys to jump so high. Some people like a tail by by the front of the face. Some people like the tail to be by the back of the head. And so I have to create these jump shots for people with all of those things in mind. So even though I might drop a butter jump shot for you on Monday, and then you know you're gonna still look at it to see, you be like, eh, I really don't like that one. You might have another person the next day that be like, I didn't like the jump shot that you like, but I do like the next jump shot. So that's why I drop these joints uh, so often. And because I also, uh, man, look, I am a jump shot guru. I be in this joint. I really be in the jump shot creator, creating jump shots, making sure that you know we can find something for y'all and all of that, man. So. I just appreciate it if y'all do that. And the way that I show my appreciation is to give something back. But now that we got that out of the way, man, look, I want to show y'all the jump shot. This is the Chetty Osmond jump shot. That's what the base is. You can really put what any, any releases you want on it, but I just found that it's really important to go with the stuff that the, uh, that the person, you know, that created the jump shot is telling you because they created it. Like these jump shots are so fickle. If you change anything, it's going to change the whole jump shot. This, and I'm gonna tell y'all a couple of things about the jump shot too. This jump shot, Chetty Osmond, Sadiq Bay, Shay G's, Alexander, everything is good right here. You can leave it right here and you're gonna have an A height. I don't really like A height. I like it B, B plus or less because I don't like my guy to jump that high. I found that B plus is just about perfect for me, what I like to look at, but you know, with A, A, it is what it is. A, A plus, some people like the high jump shots. They like it high and they like it to arc a little bit more. So look, if you do it in this configuration, 66% towards Shea and 34% towards Sadiq Bay, you will get these numbers. Uh, the C impact, whatever right there. The only thing that can that ever really mess with time and impact is, is dropping the speed of the jump shot. So uh, we're, we're definitely not going to be doing that. But if you want your jump shot to be a little faster, you can go three ticks to the left, one, two, three. And, and do 37% Sadiq Bay and 63% Shea. And that's gonna give you an A plus speed, right? And, and it's, it's still at 80, 80 across the board, right? Defensive immunity will go down, but I feel like I would rather have the defensive immunity. And I've already explained to you guys how I think that, this, that the release speed works. I think the release speed is like, let's just say if it's 50 milliseconds, uh, it's, if it's anything higher than 50, anything lower than 50 milliseconds, is an A plus, this is probably at 49 milliseconds. I mean, this is probably at 50 milliseconds. So anything 49 and below is an A plus, but 50, right at 50, it's gonna start giving you an A. I believe that this is what it is. So with this jump shot, I think you'll be fine with it on the A speed, taking the defensive immunity. A lot of people don't wanna take that. That's cool. I definitely understand. The timing that I'm using on this jump shot, I'm using early timing. I have found that using early timing helps me a lot because I was stuck on that that I'm trash if I can't if I can't figure it out and catch up to uh very early maybe I'm trash but then I thought about it but if you're missing shots 
they're definitely going to say you're trash, right? So you don't, you, you, you got to come, you got to really think about what would I rather do? Would I rather hit the shot? Or do I want to look like I'm, look like I'm comp by, by having, you know, having a, a shot that's, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting it on fast. So, you know, that's what I had to come to grips with. And I just said, look, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to use what I use and what's hidden for me. And I went from 58% to 60 some odd percent over the weekend using early because I can see those catches. You can see the catches and you can anticipate what type of catch you're going to get. Cause you know, you get like 15 catches in this game, right? But it's only really two or three timings. And they're so close that you can't discern between them. Uh, but so it really appears to be two timings. So that's, that's why I do the way I do. I, I, I gravitated toward early and it's, it's, it's just made my jump shot so much better. I did have to slow myself down, but it still goes in. And if the jump shot goes in, that's all that matters. People going, you know, you, you're good if the jump shot goes in, regardless of what's going on. So look, this is the badges I use. Claymore, guard up, catch and shoot, corner specials, green machine, and uh, limitless. Now, in this is what I use in the park. In the wreck, we use this because the more shots you take, the more, like it's like the more greens you hit, the better chance. I mean, the more shots you take, the better chance you have a chance to get a green, right? Because your green window's opening up, and it works synergistically with green machine because every time you take a shot, every time you got a green to hit it anyway. So you hit a green, you got a better chance to hit greens, and then you got your uh, every time you take a shot. It, it helps you, you know, you, you you got a better chance to hit it because you got, you're adding points to your joint with volume shooter. But you're not going to shoot that much in the park. So, you, you know, for volume shooter to do that. So that's why I don't use that. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's my whole setup. That's my jump shot setup, man. I really feel like, like I said, I feel like changing, the badges are important, but changing myself to, changing myself to uh, early, really has helped man y'all let me know what y'all think like if you're, if you're having trouble hitting shots you change the early and then you let me know if that if that helps you i'm never gonna hit the very first shot that i take it don't matter how long i wait bro i'm never gonna hit the first shot but anyway changing the early has changed my life bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all y'all let me know if y'all ever was doing that anyway man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and hopefully it was very informative for y'all man if y'all got any questions let me know down in the comment section make sure you comment down below and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time Till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's chapel Guys, please.